when you will learn how to properly find a trend line that produces a high probability setups, that's when you will take your trading to the next level. And I thought I would make a video about how to find the proper trend lines, but not on the theoretical side, but I'm going to walk you through my trading today and what was my thought process on how to draw trend lines overall, bar by bar, let's say. All right, traders, we're looking at completely clean chart. We just have this 21 bar EMA as a supportive indicator on the chart that sometimes serves as a key entry point. And overall, this exponential moving average 21 bar can really tell us a lot about price action, but we trade pure naked price action. Now, the reason why we want to find good trend lines, number one, we want to follow the trend line rule. After price will break the trend line, traders will attempt to create a new extreme. And number two, trend lines produce high probability setups. And take a look what today started with. So number one, when I see this price action, what it looks like, it looks like a trading range. This is pre-market US open session, and you know it is going to be slow, low volume, so I'm not going to draw wide patterns. This is the number one thing that you need to write down when the market opens and looking slow like a trading range in the pre-market open session. What I'm going to do, I really want my trend lines tight as possible, all right? And I want my trend line tight as possible because it really makes me to see the breaks of the trend lines clear and a new lows. You guys can see we have a uptrend working higher. We have a break. We don't have a new high retested yet, but what it may have been, there may have been if this little pattern I sometimes like to use just a couple swings from yesterday session. This was a Friday. You have a small trend line working higher. You have a break, add a new high, and now it makes more sense. All right, don't go on too back to look for, you know, bigger pattern from the previous session too much. Just few swings, you know, a few minutes of the last session last close and you will be okay and take a look at this downtrend we have a downtrend working lower we have a first break and price attempts to create a clear new extreme and take a look closer you have a two legged -like pullback you have a bearish lag bullish correction and a bearish lag inside of a two legged -like move to a new extreme all right so two legged -like pullback is a high probability setup and look for that on the chart and when price creates a new extreme, I'm naturally expecting either correction or straight up reversal. In this instance, straight up reversal occurred. And once again, this is still part of pre-market analysis. So I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my trend lines as tight as I can. Let's say I can do draw it something like this. I want it really tight because this is still looking like a trading range. I don't want to draw big patterns like this. Look at this. This is not how you want to draw in tight trading ranges the trend line or something like this this is not how you want to draw the trend lines it really makes no sense drawing it like this focus on the short term ones as price working higher and i see a break of a trend line my first instinct is take a look my first instinct is to look for possible break below ema and reversal or straight up correction but what do i have i have a instead strong push higher and as you guys know, when market keeps making new highs and new highs, there's almost always bigger pattern in play. So note number two, write it down. When you see a break and a new extreme, there's most likely some bigger pattern in play. And here you can actually see the market keeps working higher. It's far away from EMA and it's pulling back. So I have a little top here. So what I can do, this is generally how spike and the channel begins. You have a strong spike, extremely steep move up. Then you have a little bit sideways movement and then the next leg is going to be much more choppy. So I can do, draw it like this, put it at the bottom, something like this, for example, all right? I can find it off the top and put it at the bottom. This is extremely important tip. If you master this skill, you just don't have to look for the trend line in the direction of a trend. You can just find it easily off the other side. This is so underrated and a lot of traders don't use it. But if you find it from the other side, you can really get ahead over most traders because not that many traders are applying this method all right and take a look how we're above the ema downtrend played out this is a sign of a reversal ema is pointing higher everything screams long and look at what, what we have we have a new extreme new high and we're counting to look for second entry because market moves in twos and a second entry with the trend at proper key entry point is a high probability setup and what do we have we have a first entry uh oh and market is going without me so that means i cannot enter right here even though it's off the trend line it's too early we have a rules, we follow them. Look what we have here. We have a break and a second entry long. But we are still not touching the EMA. We're still not touching the trend line. Look what we have, we have next, big bearish bar. And next is big bullish bar. This is now confirmed th triple touch of this channel. 
we are still in an uptrend big bullish bar and a lot of people try to pick top and this is our first trade to go long it's a little bit aggressive because you're going long at the very high of the move but this is a triple confirmation spike in a channel and i liked taking this as my first trade unfortunately since i was going high at the very high of the move i sneak in a little bit further back with the limit order but i didn't get filled market went without me and i had to watch it fortunately markets would have stopped my runner anyway so i would just scout out and my runner would have been out but look what we happen next fourth confirmation of this trend line but this is just new high first entry long can we take this we can't take this okay even though this is a pure confirmation and to be honest a lot of aggressive traders can't take this this is a first entry we don't want to pick and choose we have to sell over rules that we follow we want to get the 80 plus percent win percentage we have to take the two legged pullbacks at the key entry point all right and now i <laughs> i've got gotten a little bit ahead of myself when we are in an uptrend because we're talking about trend lines i'm drawing my short term trend lines as well all right the price action rule after the break of a trend line is going to be a new extreme applies even for the shorter term trend lines in big patterns but here's an important caveat when i'm drawing the short term trend lines i'm drawing them extremely tight okay i'm not doing this or i'm not doing this is a little bit of stretch so bear with me but i'm not doing this either this is obvious stretch but a lot of times you will get a situation like this and i'm not doing that for number one reason the trend is up and bigger pattern is up these are just short term corrections and i want to make them as tight as possible there are going to be more examples throughout the day and it will click for you and you will see why i choose only to go for short ones so remember bigger pattern write it down takes precedence is more important most often than not you know nothing is 100 percent if it was everybody would be day trading but you know eight or nine times out of ten it is like that so this is why you want to draw them tight as possible because this is just and counter trend correction and bigger pattern is up all right and you guys can see we have a break attempt to make a new extreme it didn't happen because trend is strong and key entry point is in play finally we have a new break of this downtrend so i'm going to do i'm going to draw my short -term trend line once again and i'm expecting a new extreme we're bouncing off the ema however this is just a once again first entry even though you see a bullish bar right here we didn't trigger above none of these bars high just above this high so it's just a first entry long okay it's quick easy scalp but you don't want to take this because it's the first entry so i'm not going to mark it as a high probability setup but look what happened next market pushed lower and here we have a perfect example that confuses a lot of traders first of all first of all a lot of times market will not create a perfectly new high you will get an attempt to make a new extreme and it will just be a double top or double bottom or something close okay and don't worry with experience it will get much more easier but in this case market created a double top and reversed lower okay now when traders see this they are now hesitant to sell because they see a two-legged pullback down and this would be a good your first instinct to think like that but i'm not going to use the shortened trend line and why am i not going to use the shortened trend line i would use the shortened trend line if the ema is still holding prices okay let's say there is a first lag pullback second lag and the ema is holding prices it is proving to me that buyers are in the market and we are going to make a new extreme i'm going to treat it as a break attempt to make a new low and a two legged pullback and i'm going to stick with the shortened trend line however when the market keeps pushing lower and is reversing what i'm going to do i cannot use the shortened trend line because this trend line will not cover this entire move. look how this move is getting bigger and i want to be part of this move it, i cannot just this tiny price action cannot cover the importance of what's happening right here so what i'm going to do and this is important this is why you draw short -term trend lines in correction and you draw the a little bit bigger ones a little bit wider ones when the market is reversing and this is a reversal situation because you barely made the double top and the ema couldn't hold prices at all okay you have a new high you have a first entry long pullback second entry long this is where i was looking for a felt second entry long trap why is it trap because market already attempted to make a new extreme and you're below ema this is why you will trap a lot of traders to go short and market pushed lower so there is no setup unfortunately bit to bar too big bearish here you have a first entry of this key entry point and market keeps pushing lower. once again another confirmation one more tip one more tip traders bear with me when you see a spike in a channel a lot of times you just want to 
copy the uh, copy the trend line of the channel and you want to put it uh, at the beginning of a spike and a lot of times you will see that the trend will resume you don't want to go blindly long but you will have a reversal pattern above the ema you will have a fell second entry short above the ema and market will continue working higher this is why a lot of times this is not magic you will just copy the trend line market moves in geometrical pattern patterns in geometrical fashion 100 percent it you know it mimics a human psychology in this case it completely ignored it that's okay there is no setup and we don't go long and now that we have a downtrend what we are expecting we are expecting for price to create new extreme if you have a break so far right now we're looking for second entry shorts off the ema or off the trend line okay and market keeps pushing lower keeps pushing lower and you guys can see there's even no room for me to draw some corrections i'm not going to draw i mean corrections like this there is no point in drawing corrections like this don't go overboard with this there is no use for this this is just a tight reversing channel and take a look what happened here and i'm not kidding you where i was looking at this i play with the idea what if there is some pattern something like this what if there is some pattern something like this because here once again write it to your notebook the bigger patterns are most often than not drawn from the first two swings this is swing one this is swing two first two swings are this is the highest high this is the lower high it creates the swing boom this is, it looks like a swing you push lower bigger patterns are found from the first two swings and this is not hindsight trading i'm not trying to sell you anything i'm just a trader and i'm giving you um, what my thought process was today i'm giving you my knowledge so take take it for whatever it's worth all right the market keeps pushing lower so i'm playing with the idea that there may be a bigger pattern but i don't know okay i don't know if right right now there is no confirmation there's no nothing I, I don't need to worry about this i'm just playing the ema and i'm just playing the shortened trend line okay and look what we have here we have a first entry short second entry short we have a what it looks like is a perfect micro double top which resets the count so this is technically a first entry but i liked taking this trade a lot and you guys probably are going to scold me a bit why this is a good trade because you're far away from ema and double top resets the count it looks like a two-legged pullback it looks like a two-legged pullback but more importantly this setup is extremely similar to what we have on friday all right guys here we are at the friday's chart you guys can see we have a break and a new high and we have a strong push lower this is a tight trend line working along take a look at this we have a two-legged pullback that is far away from ema we just broke the trend line we are waiting for a new low yesterday on friday i wasn't much keen taking this but repeat patterns work for a reason and i decided to take a chance here still i still think it is a little bit aggressive so if you're definitely a beginner you want to stay away from this because you're not touching the ema it is a little bit congestive but there are two legs it looks extremely similar to the friday pattern and it really repeats and i just like taking my chance this is just my personal opinion of me taking a chance this is not high probability setup because you're far away from ema i'm just giving you what i like at the time it was worked for scalp barely and then market is pushing to the other side all right so that now i have a break and a new extreme okay now i have a new extreme ema is still pointing lower so i'm expecting correction or possibly straight up reversal okay and when i see this i want to draw my shortened trend line once again like this I, I wanted to hug the price really neatly i want all the bars inside this trend line i could draw the trend line something like this but this is too far-fetched now this makes no sense for me to draw come on no sense for me to draw a trend line something like this this is potentially what, what it can be but it doesn't really looks correct i wanted to i wanted to ignore these few swings and i wanted to start when the uptrend is really hugging the prices nicely okay the market is now pushing above the ema we have a break and a new high what happened next i'm a little bit confused because the downtrend looked like it played out uptrend it looked like it played out so i'm just sitting on my hands patiently patiently and look what we have here we have a strong push below the ema which to me looks like the downtrend may resume because look at this uptrend this was a quite a big move down and this is all the bulls had this is all the what bulls generated we pushed above ema strongly but we have a break and a new high and we instantly pull back and there is no rejection at the ema and this is where i looked at this i only found a trend line here after price confirmed that sellers are still strong working lower 
this is where I found a trend line something like this and once it nicely fits off the bottom right here I knew I'm probably right and it also justified me drawing the trend line this tight like this because you can even draw a trend line like this a little bit wider a little bit wider like this but once the price keeps pushing below EMA and it keeps pushing below EMA and this wider pattern looks like it fits this is where I made the decision that this is just a correction with the break at a new high. This looks more like a two-legged move up. Legs don't have to be measured and we are working lower. So this is now a new high. We have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long. This is where I was preparing my limit order. Go short below this bearish bar. What do we have? We didn't get the break and instead we have this nice gorgeous trap. Look how they trapped everybody. The bar traded higher. It intended to break above the EMA and it failed and it closed strongly below EMA. This is a reversal pattern. It is a reversal pattern because uptrend played out with the break at a new high. We are below EMA and is a two felt attempts, two entry longs in the previous trend direction. And this is a high probability setup. This was the probably easiest trade for today. This was very aggressive, not high probability. And this one was fairly aggressive as well. Okay. And here we have a a, a dilemma how to draw the trend lines because I'm already starting to get confused. I can either draw it really tight or I can draw it a little bit like a little bit wider like this. Let me see a little bit wider like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with the wider one for now. Okay. And why am I going to stick with the wider one? Well, because I'm using the shorter term ones for the corrections that are against the trend. Okay, the wider ones are within the trend. Okay, take a look here. The corrections are shorter term one. The overall patterns, the overall pattern is a little bit wider. So I'm going to use it a little bit like this. It doesn't really matter because remember, overall pattern, the bigger pattern takes precedence. So you don't really, I don't draw it too much. I just eyeball these shortened trend lines, but you can join will only help them the market ema is still holding prices so we are not going higher big bearish bar this is actually and now it looks like a breakout pullback pattern this is a definitely a last nail in the coffin for the bulls that try to go long we still try to close above ema and it's instant shutdown big bearish bar in a downtrend this is where all the magic happened you probably would have even not gotten in because this there is a gap there is no tick back you just have to watch it go without you okay and look what you have now price confirms the downtrend which is good price is in a downtrend below ema so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw my trend line and it's going to be shorter to one once again why it's going to be shorter to one because i'm in i'm in a trend down so this is a counter trend, trend entry and this is very short to one okay and there we have new low first entry short and it just ended up working Okay, but there is no high probability setup. It is no a two-legged pullback, nothing like that. You will probably get the feeling that you want to sell this. You have to be patient. Okay, you have to, you cannot skip the rules. Market keeps confirming nicely the trend line. Take a look at the confirmation of the trend line. You keep pushing lower and you have a little bit overshoot. And look where the price finally made its way to. We are finally very close at the important key level for today, or we are on our way to get to the very important key level for today. You can draw it even a little bit like this, but this is looking like a little bit of a stretch. This was the lowest low. This fits right here. Doesn't really matter. All you know, doesn't, guys remember, this is just an area. This is not a line. This is an area where the lows were for the start of the day, for the majority of the day. And now we're finally making our way back in, okay? And look what we have. We have a, strong bounce of this over uh, excuse me of this key level and we have an overshoot overshoot of a trend line will a lot of times create a break of a trend line in the opposite direction or straight up reversal this overshoot however is a little bit lackluster the trend line may be slightly lower okay the trend line may be slightly here but it now doesn't fit off here so i think this is overshoot because it fits nicely all the way through here nevertheless you're coming off the lower side of the trend line you so you're expecting for price to get to the other side so once again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my very short term trend line. By the way, here we have a congestion. Congestion is just bars going sideways. And the way you trade congestions, you fade the 
breakouts okay you broke the downside you don't sell the breakout you wait and you buy in the opposite direction of course you don't want to buy here because we're in a downtrend but this is how you trade the congestions price pushed above the ema so you're possibly expecting reversal pattern however you have a tick higher and a move down tempting trade lower high to take a short but i think since you're coming off the overshoot and since you're coming off the important key low of key level of the day i don't think it is worth it would have worked but i don't think it's worth taking a chance here okay because you're already coming off the lows and you want to be patient you're probably heading all the way up to here you're supposed to be selling all the way up to here not all the way down to here okay at the important key level and while the market is overshooting this trend line so once again i'm not going to do i'm not going to do this okay i'm not going to do this even though we have a lot of swings confirming it and it may be even valid right now uh excuse me in the future i'm not still going to do this i'm going to focus more on the shorter term ones because this is just a correction the market keeps just going sideways this is a horrible mess so i'm going to do i'm going to stay away from this i'm going to draw this short term congestion can't get me straight in this all right and market keeps finally pushing oh we have another fail breakout market keeps pushing lower we finally have what it looks like and another low right here so i'm going to do draw my another shortened trend line okay and there's nothing really to take no setup right here i'm just following the rules i'm not entering i'm not entering short down here i'm not entering long either why i'm not buying the support where we are at important key level well because the downtrend is still in play and remember if you follow the trend line rules you only want to buy when you have a break and a new extreme okay and market keeps working higher and look what we have here we have a new low you have a first entry short pull back pull back pull back second entry short we didn't trigger below this bar we didn't get the trigger here we have a trigger below this bar this is a second entry short this is a finally a first break of this trend line and you're expecting a new extreme to be retested this is a high probability setup and you definitely want to take a chance here. You're bits away from EMA, so you're definitely going to pull back and look what he, what look, will happen. You're expecting for price to create a new extreme, but oh, look, it worked for a scalp, but price keeps reversing. And when I see this, I don't argue with the market. I just adapt. So I know that this short term trend line is probably not going to cover the move up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the wider pattern, okay? Because when I'm looking at this right now, I was getting a feeling that the market can be resuming to the upside excuse me can be starting to trade to the upside okay i'm going to draw my shortened trend line something like this i'm now lo looking for longs we are far away from both key entry points this was a tempting trade to go long here i was waiting for a trigger here i was honestly thinking that we may go higher i was honestly thinking that shorts will not retest the low but look what we have here i was wrong and market kept just plummeting lower price action is never wrong and keeps pushing lower and keeps pushing lower what this ended up being and this is what i forgot to tell myself today big patterns a lot of times when you have a just break so tightly after the trend line so short left the trend line you will not retest it you will give it a little bit more room the bigger the pattern the more room you will have to give it you cannot just have a break here still i was still thinking this is worth taking a chance here it works for a scalp but remember this bigger patterns they take more time for correction and the break to occur okay so now we have a new low i can draw a trend line something like this but it's really pointless in this instance i can draw even trend line like this just to make sure that we have a break and a new low of this as well it doesn't really help me why it doesn't help me bigger pattern takes precedence and i have a break and a new low and i don't expect downtrend to confer to continue because we're below this important key level okay so we're below this important key level if anything i may be looking to fade the breakout and i am definitely not looking to sell okay now price keeps working higher and keeps working higher and okay now that the downtrend played out well what i'm going to do i'm going to draw my short trend line and i'm waiting for a reverse pattern. look how nice price are fitting inside of this trend line we have a first entry short pullback this would be a great failed second entry short above the ema above key level inside of trend line but we didn't get the trigger lower we didn't trap people in we cannot take this trade and market keeps working higher keeps working higher there we have a first entry short second entry short failure reversal pattern you may take a chance here like i told you i don't like taking these reversal patterns that you move way too far away but you're tightly at the key entry point and this is good but i would still be a little bit patient here and once again how am i going to draw the short and trend line very 
tight because this is now a correction since we are below ema uh, excuse me since we are below key level the downtrend played out so the uptrend looks like it may start according to price action rules and look what we have here we have a first entry long pullback second entry long we have a break of this the downtrend attempt to make a new low we have a two like a pullback and now this is a second entry long at the ema high probability setup we're still waiting for a new extreme of this uptrend don't remember we're coming off the lows of the fell breakout of the ema everything screams longs it worked quick easy scalp and market creates a new extreme perfect new extreme and reverses okay and now since i told you that when the tr when the market is reversing i want to look for a little bit wider patterns and not for the shorter term ones <clears throat> like this we have a situation here where the uptrend already played out but at the same time you don't want to go short and here was one of those instances where it really takes an experience and it really takes a lot of screen time watching this chart to understand price action because you may think that you want to draw a little bit let's say i'm going to skip a little bit you may think you want to draw a little bit wider pattern because the uptrend played out and you may think it's reversing there's a double whammy here the overall pattern is downtrend played out we're coming off the lows at the key level so we are not looking for reversal okay this is a little caveat and once again i'm just trying to give you tips so you have to draw the tight one here because what it looks like this is a clear now strong key level you're coming off the lows i'm still repeating but this is important i really want you guys to get this and price creates a two-legged move down and market keeps reversing and if you even draw it wider <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with this by the way don't think that you will not be adjusting the trend lines when you're trading live you will you will be adjusting the trend lines you can draw it like this but you're still not looking to go short because the overall context and once you keep pushing above the ema you will just say okay i understand what's going on i see that the buyers are buying the sellers are not there so I'm, this was this was the shortened tool i get pullback and i'm now ready to go long okay and look what we have here we're coming off the lows we have a first entry short, pullback, 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 a second entry short, failure. We have a little bit of overshoot right here. This probably would have been, hold on, you don't have a second, excuse me, I'm taking it back. We didn't have a trigger below none of these bars lows. Okay, this, we triggered below this bar low, but we didn't trigger here. So there is no reversal pattern. So first trigger below the low you get right here. And you have also first entry long, second entry long, two like a pullback at the EMA, you're waiting for a new low, high probability setup right here market just quick easy scalp to create a new extreme perfect price action and the trend is resuming and you're starting to get a wedge pattern in this instance it is probably better to sit on your hands and not do anything all right and before i let you guys go i want to give you guys last and final tip and this is extremely important during the strong uptrend days and the strong downtrend days there are going to be a few days when you will just see market just pushing higher and pushing higher and you will be wondering if is this trend line right or is this trend line the legit one or maybe it's even a little bit different maybe it's a little bit like this which one is valid it all looks good it all basically gives you setups when you see this the most important thing is to realize market is a lot of times too strong to even go back to the trend line you just have to focus on the EMA. Most setups, this is not the perfect example of because this is not one of those 45 degree angles. This is steeper uptrend. The 45 degree angle is the one where market keeps making new highs and you cannot get to the trend line. Remember, your e EMA is your best bet in this instance and you just want to look for setups at the EMA. Market is a lot of times too strong or too weak in downtrend to get to the key entry point of the bigger pattern. All right. So hopefully if this was helpful. If it was, like the video, we really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you like studying day trading. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.